Hi, Gary here from Photomate. Now you may know that Photomate supports a variety of filters and effects which are built into the application. But what you may not know is that Photomate also supports a good number of Photoshop plugins. Photoshop plugins can be downloaded from various sources. There's actually thousands and thousands of free Photoshop plugins. And there's also a variety of very good plugins that you can purchase. So today we're going to show you how to import plugins into Photomate. This is the Redfield Plugins website, and um, they've got a variety of filters that they sell on the site. I believe all of them are available for demo download, and they're very good. So this is just one source of plugins. As I said, there's literally thousands of websites with free and paid plugins that you can explore. This particular plugin is called Fractalius. I believe that's how it's pronounced, but I'm not sure. Anyway, I've, I've already downloaded this uh, plugin, so let's just take a look at some of the rendering effects that it can do. Pretty impressive. So it's actually a great plugin. I've already downloaded it to my desktop, so we are going to jump over to Photomate now and look at how to implement the plugin. First, we'll go to File, Load Filter Plugins. Now, I've already downloaded the Red Field plugin to my desktop. You'll be presented with a dialog box. Browse to the location of the filter. In this case, I downloaded it to my desktop. And simply select Load. That imports the filter into Photomate, and you're actually ready to use it at this point. So let's go ahead and open a photo. And we'll add a background. And I'm going to go ahead and just merge these layers. Now you don't have to merge the layers. Um, you can actually apply the filter to any independent layer. But in this case for demo, we'll just go ahead and merge the layers together. And let's take a look at what the plugin does. Now to apply, let's go to our effects panel, filters, and there are uh, various filters that are already included with the software. Any filters that you import will appear in this list. Here's the red field, Fractalius demo, and that's the, the plugin that we just imported. So here's the default filter that's applied. That's a pretty cool effect, actually. Um, there's several more in the list here. Let's try a few. Crayon Soft. Let's try Neon Light. So as you can see, uh, the possibilities are literally endless. You can spend all day on the internet downloading and, and trying plugins and coming up with all kinds of interesting effects. So one thing I'd like to note, when you do look for plugins, they are not universally compatible, but most 8BF plugins are compatible. And give them a try.